Hello students, welcome to this class. In today's video I will be talking to you about conjunctive adverbs. As you can see I wrote a note here for you that says that conjunctive adverbs work through the connection of equal elements in a sentence and shifting from one thought to another. Okay, so we use conjunctive adverbs to connect equal elements in a sentence or to shift from one thought to another. As you can see, I have two examples here on the board. The first one says, she is very about, she is very excited about her new job. However, it gives her a headache. Okay, so the conjunctive adverb here is however. As you can see, I'm shifting from one thought to another. She is very excited about her new job and it gives her a head headache. There are two different thoughts connected by a conjunctive adverb. The next one says, the average weight of the human head is eight pounds. In fact, it may cause neck pain. Okay, this is not like a true fact, but it is just an example so that you can see that a conjunctive adverb, in this case, it is in fact, um, joins equal elements in a sentence or helps you through helps you to shift from one thought to a, another okay well next I will give you some more examples and practice sentences so that you can practice with me now you are going to help me fill in the blank with a conjunctive adverb okay we know what conjunctive adverbs are already but the most common are However, on the other hand, all right, etc. There are many, many conjunctive adverbs. These are just two examples. Okay, so we must put an end to violence. Blank, it will not be easy. Which one do we use? However, right? So as you can see, we are shifting from one thought to another using a conjunctive adverb. And we are also connecting equal elements in a sentence, okay? Well, as you can see, I am using a semicolon. And if you, if you want, feel free to check out um, all the videos I recorded on the semicolon use so that you can be aware of how to punctuate sentences that use conjunctive adverbs. Next, I will leave you some homework. Remember that you need to practice as much as you can. For homework, you are going to write four sentences using conjunctive adverbs. I am sure you can look some of those up some examples are however, nevertheless, on the other hand, in fact, all right? So just look up conjunctive adverbs and now you know what they, um, what you can use them for, to connect equal elements in any sentence or to shift, shift from one idea or one thought to another. Well, thank you so much for watching. My name is Fabi. I really hope that this video was of help and I will Surely see you in the next video. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. Talking to you about conjunctive and parenthetical adverbs. What is the difference? The difference is that a conjunctive adverb